Phylum Sarcomastigophora. Sarcomastigophora is a phylum of the kingdom Protista that consists of a wide variety of unicellular and colonial organisms. Members of this group move by means of one or more flagella or pseudopods. Sarcomastigophora come from the combination of words sarcodina and mastigophora, which are characterized under the phylum. Subphylum sarcodina is a class that is classified as a subphylum under the highest order of sarcomastigophora. Sarcodina belongs to the phylum of protozoans, and these are the largest phylum of the class of protozoans. The four groups based on the trapezoid and cis morphology. The first group is the histolytica group, with quadrinucleated cysts, wherein the species are the entamoeba histolytica, entamoeba hartmani, and etc. The next is the coli group, with octanucleate cysts and the centric and larger endosomes. The species are the entamoeba coli, entamoeba muris, and etc. Next is the bovis group with uninucleated cysts, wherein the species are the entamoeba bovis, entamoeba ovis, and entamoeba suis, and etc. Lastly is the gingivalis group, which have no cysts, wherein the species are Entamoeba gingivalis. Entamoeba histolytica. The Entamoeba histolytica is a protozoan that causes intestinal amoebiasis as well as extraintestinal manifestation. Ent for enterocyte means cell of intestine, amoeba means protozoa, histo means tissue, and lytica means lysis. Parasite morphology. The trophozoites are 20 to 30 micrometers in diameter and contain a vesicular nucleus with a central endosome, peripheral chromatin, and radial achromatic fibrils, imparting a cartwheel appearance. The cysts are spherical, measuring 10 to 15 micrometer in diameter and have a four nuclei. The host range of the Entamoeba histolytica is predominantly found in primates and occasionally in dogs, cats, cattle, and pigs. Kittens and mice are highly susceptible and it is an anthropozoonosis in dog. The locomotion is amoeboid type by use of pseudopodia. The pseudopodia appear suddenly as long as finger-like projection and the endosomes flow into it. Ectoplasm is hyaline and endoplasm is granular. The spherical nucleus is 4 to 7 micrometers in size and has a distinct central zone of 0.5 micrometer in diameter which is lined by fine chromatin granules giving a beaded appearance. Some erythrocytes may present in the cytoplasm. Phylum sarcomastigophora from the kingdom Protista are eukaryotic organisms. The subphylum are Sarcodina and Mastigophora. Some of the species that belong to phylum Sarcomastigophora include Goniolax catenella, Noctiluca species, Globigerina species, and Trypanosoma equiperdum. Mastigophora is a subphylum of the kingdom Protista. They are single-celled eukaryotes, which are protozoans, and they may form colonies or exist as single cells and can be free-living organisms or parasites. They can be found in terrestrial and aquatic environments. Furthermore, there are two classes of mastigophora, as phytomastigophora and zoomastigophora. Of these two, phytomastigophora includes photosynthetic or plant-like flagellated organisms, but zoomastigophora include animal-like single-celled organisms that have whip-like flagella. Also, they do not contain chloroplasts, hence they are not photosynthetic. The nucleus is usually vesicular, and the reproduction is by longitudinal binary fission. The neuromotor apparatus consists of a granular blepharoplast or basal granule from which axoneme arises. Closely posterior to the blepharoplast, there are 
deeply stained granule. The kinetoplast contains DNA and a part of the mitochondria, which in the case of trypanosomes, run the world length of the body. The key difference between Phytomastigophora and Zoomastigophora is that the members of Phytomastigophora contain chloroplasts in their cytoplasm, while the members of Zoomastigophora do not contain chloroplasts in their cytoplasm. Order Kinetoplastida of the family Trypanosomatidae Protozoan parasites of the order Kinetoplastida include various species of the genera Leishmania and Trypanosoma includes all hemoflagellates and are leaf-like in shape or somewhat containing single nucleus. They have single flagellum attached to the body by undulating membrane supporting the flagellum at its outer margin. The single flagellum arises from the basal granule and passes anteriorly to become free in front of the body. The kinetoplast is posterior to the basal granule and the trypanosoma have no mouths and feed by absorption of food in solid in the environment through the pellicle. Have four developmental stages during their life cycles, and the masticote is a Greek word for whip, which means for their flagellum. Cyst. The cyst is dormant and helps the parasite survive in difficult settings, and the cyst can survive to infect another animal. The shape of cyst is spherical or oval. The size of the cyst is 5 to 20 micrometer and quadrinucleate. The passage of the cyst occurs in the small intestine, and mammals become infected when they swallowed contaminated food or water carrying infective cysts, from which trophozoids travel to the large intestine, multiplying via binary fission and producing more cysts. Cysts can survive for days to weeks in the external environment, and cysts can be found in both bacteria and nematodes. There are four forms of cyst, which is the pre-cyst, the mature and the immature cyst, and the lastly, the young cyst. In the pre-cystic forms, entamoeba is found only in the intestinal lumen. The cytoplasm of this is clear, and at this form, each cyst is mononucleated which means it only has a single nucleus. The trophozoites can contain only one before becoming insisted. Nuclei gather to form a ring. In mature form of cyst, it has four characteristic nuclei with centrally placed charisomes and fine chromatin. It is uniformly distributed peripheral chromatin. Cysts usually measure 12 to 15 micrometer and the mature cyst is a cystic stage of a parasite within a host. Immature cysts typically have a large glycogen vacuole and contain only one to three of nuclei that can be seen. In young cysts, it contains glycogen bodies that are absent in mature cysts. The transmission of cysts occurs by fecal excretion of cysts followed by oral ingestion of contaminated food or water. However, fecal oral transmissions may occur within households and long-term care institutions, and sexual transmission occurs, mostly by phaco-oral means, with contaminated feed and cyst-infested water. Heat and freezing temperatures are also effective in killing the cyst, and the cyst can survive for only a few months outside of the host. Life Cycle of Antimoeba Histolytica the main organ affected by Antamoeba histolytica is the intestine, causing amoebic dysentery. However, it also has extra-intestinal locations that affect the liver and lung. The infection typically begins with the ingestion of mature, quadrinucleated cysts found in fecally contaminated food or water. Excisment occurs in the small intestine followed by cytoplasmic and nuclear division to form eight small metacystic trophozoites. Two forms of Entamoeba histolytica. Trophozoite. As the lesion reaches the muscularis layer, a typical flask-shaped ulcer forms, which can undermine and destroy large areas of the intestinal epithelium. Cyst. 
Mature cysts can have four characteristic nuclei. Entamoeba histolytica is morphologically very similar to the non-pathogenic species Entamoeba dispar. Pathogenesis Amoebiasis, often known as amoebic dysentery, is a disease condition. It might be acute or chronic depending on the amount of cysts consumed. Other factors such as amoeba strain, the patient's nutrient status, nature of intestinal flora, and concurrent infections also play a role. Amoebiasis It is also known as amoebic dysentery. It is caused by protozoan parasite of the human large intestine, amoeba histolytica. So there are two types of amoebiasis. First is the non-invasive amoebiasis, and the second is the invasive amoebiasis. For the non-invasive amoebiasis, trophozoids don't invade intestinal epithelium and multiply asexually by binary fission in the lumen of the intestine. After certain generations, some of the daughter trophozoids grow to normal adults, while others stop growing and round up to form precysts and then cysts before getting expelled out. For the invasive amoebiasis, after existation trophozoids multiply asexually and some of them invade the intestinal epithelium with the help of proteolytic enzymes, trypsin and chymotrypsin, and etc. These ulcers have narrow opening in the lumen and broad end filled with necrotic tissues in the submucosa. This form is characterized by severe diarrhea with blood and mucus and severe abdominal pain and tenismus. The invasive and non-invasive strains may appear identical and may represent two distinct species. We have an example of the invasive strain, which is the Entamoeba histolytica, while the non-invasive strains are reclassified as Entamoeba dispar. In some cases, trophozoids may get into circulation by invading the veins and are transported to the liver, rarely in the lungs and the brain, and form abscess in the organs. The liver abscesses are due to entrapment of trophozoids in the interlobular veins and lytic necrosis of the walls. Older abscesses are surrounded by fibrous tissues. Diagnosis Based on the clinical signs, including bloody diarrhea, large amounts of mucus, and etc., demonstration of trophozoids in feces in acute infection by direct smear method. Treatment We have metronidazole, tinidazole, ornidazole, sesnidazole. For the metronidazole, it is an antibiotic that is used to treat a wide variety of infections, and the tinidazole is used against protozoan infections and treatment for a variety of anaerobic, amoebic, and then bacterial infections. The control Personal hygiene Provision of modern sanitation Avoid consuming contaminated food and water And fly control Developmental stages the first is the tripomastigote. The body of the tripomastigote is leaf-like or blade-like, and the kinetoplast is posterior to the nucleus and usually near the posterior extremity. An undulating membrane is well-developed and a free flagellum is often present. This stage is usually found in the vertebrate host but also found in arthropods as the infective stage of the vertebrate host. Next is the epimastigote. The kinetoplast of the epimastigote as well as the axonym lie anterior to the nucleus. The undulating membrane is short and it is principally a stage in the arthropods. It is found in vertebrate as part of the vertebrate developmental cycle. Promastigote The kinetoplast and the axonym are the anterior tip of the body and there is no undulating membrane. It is mostly found in arthropods. And lastly is the amastigote. The body of the amastigote is rounded, the flagellum is absent, and the or it has been degenerated into a tiny fibril inside the body. The kinetoplast is present, and these stages are found in both vertebrates and arthropods.